Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you here on the last day of 2023. Goodbye, 2023. Hello, 2024. So much more in 24. Much more godliness for us. Much more word for us. Much more growth in God for us. For the world, it's going to get dark out there. Don't let these people fake you and think everything is just going to turn around. We're over the tipping point in America. But that's okay. Because God is for us. Who can be against us? I'm not saying it's not going to be scary. But... God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. Amen. Amen. All right. So for the last day, Rev chapter 22, how about verse 12 and 13? And behold, I am coming quickly, and my reward is with me to give to everyone according to his work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and, excuse me, the end, the first and the last. Blessed are those who do his commandment, that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city. And how about verse 17? And the spirit and the bride say, come. And let him who hears say, come. And let him who thirsts, come. Whoever desires, let him take the water of life freely. Amen, amen. Woohoo! For those of you that have read through the New Testament with me, put a thumbs up. For those that have read through the old and the new with me, but, you know, separate on your own plan, put two thumbs up. Amen. And now tomorrow we'll begin all over again, getting the word of God deep within our hearts. All right. So today we're praying for our neighborhoods, our neighbors and our communities. We're praying over Georgia and Florida. And Switzerland, Switzerland is our main prayer focus today. All right, let's go ahead and pray. Precious Father, we come before you in Jesus' name, and we thank you for the privilege and the honor of belonging to the family of God. I know how special my earthly family is to me. I know how special my heavenly family, my church family is to me. And now I know how special it is to you, that we are special to you, Lord. And because of that, we love you. Lord, you, you spoke to my heart last week, and it was so clear. We try to love you. We love you, love you, love you. But we don't take time to let you love us, Lord. We love you because you first love us. God is is love. He is light. He is life. He is love. It's who you are, Lord. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you for all you are, all that you do. I praise you, my King, my everything. I praise you today. We praise you today. Lord, as we come before you, let's start with the prayer cards today. Lord, there are some hurting people out there. Oh, my goodness, Lord. I, I just, I'm amazed how much is in this world. I've been through stuff. We have been through stuff. People are going through stuff. We lift up needs before you, Father. We pray for fellow brothers and sisters. We pray, Lord, that the scales that might be hindering them from receiving, be it salvation, be it healing, whatever it is, we all battle these things that they'll be broken and that they could come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. And I thank you for that, Father. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, today being Sunday, we lift up the church services before you. Lord, as we have had a, a long week uh, last week with all that went on, and now we're kind of gearing into the new year, this being the last Sunday, we just thank you for a great service, services, excuse me, and we just thank you for the word of God coming forth properly and that people can receive wisdom, that I can receive wisdom, Lord. For it's you, the spirit of God, that speaks to my heart also as he speaks to every one of us. We lift up every church that's preaching the gospel, that's out there doing it right for Jesus. Thank you for using them, Lord, for your honor and your glory. The gospel is what it's all about. So again, we lift up these prayer needs and we lift up our fellow 
brothers and sisters, and we thank you for that. We lift up our United States of America before you, and we pray for our country. We lift up Georgia and Florida today, Lord, this being the last day of the year, and we pray for the needs of that, those two states, Lord. Thank you for it, Father. Many born-again Christians there, many great churches there. We pray for them in Jesus' name. We pray for our country. God help America. What I see on the internet is just beyond words, Lord. I, 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 I think we're past the tipping point in America. But Lord, you're sovereign. You can do as you know is best, Lord. So we lift up America before you. We pray for those that are in authority. We bind up evil people in Jesus' name. And we pray for the godly. Strengthen them, Lord. The, the ones that are unsaved, that they would come to the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. And I thank you. Thank you for that, Lord, in Jesus' name. We lift up Switzerland before you. I hear it's gorgeous. Never been there. Love to see it one day. We pray for Switzerland, Lord. We pray for Israel, Lord. Again, you said in your word that you would bless those that bless Abraham. And you would curse those that curse Abraham. Well, we bless them today. Oh, in Jesus' name, we pray, Father. We pray that they will capture every Hamas terrorist person, Lord. And we pray that Gaza can be restored back to a place of not a terrorist hub in Jesus' name. We pray for the IDF, Lord, Israeli Defense Forces, and we pray that you give them wisdom. So many have given up their lives already. We pray for them in Jesus' name. We lift up our entire world before you as we see a world gone crazy, Lord. We pray, Lord. Whoa, we are looking up. We're living in warp speed days. Scripture is being fulfilled all around us. We thank you for that, Lord. <clears throat> Lord, we pray for the uh, remaining nations, Lord. New Caledonia, Fiji, Samoa, America, Samoa, French Polynesia, Tonga, and Karbate, Lord. And we pray for these, some as low as 6.1% evangelical Christian, and the highest is 262 We pray over the nations, Lord, of our world. We pray. There will be goat nations, there will be sheep nations, but we pray for people because that's eternal life or eternal damnation. So we pray for them. We lift up every organization that's preaching the gospel. World Team, World Vision International, Wyckoff Bible Translators, Young's Life, Youth for Christ International, Youth with a Mission, and U Version Bible. And we pray that you would strengthen them and use them in a great way. In Jesus' name. We also pray, Father, for Christian Faith Fellowship Church. Lord, as the pastor, I want to do it right. My heart is, is humble before you, and yet I make mistakes like anyone else does, Lord. So I pray for your wisdom, your strength, your humility, Lord, because I believe that if we stay humble, you exalt us. When we think we're big shots, you push us down, Lord. So, Lord, I stay humble as the pastor, and I pray that we all stay humble and do this right. We get one shot at this. We want to do it right for you, Lord, in Jesus' name. So we lift up our world. We lift up our nation. We lift up our church, and we lift up every church today that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. Bless them, bless them, bless them. Now I pray for your people as they get ready for a new year. So much more in 24. Oh, so much more of your goodness, your kindness, your love. I can go on and on. Oh, so much more. So much more. We want so much more of you, Lord. Oh, we love you. Mwah! Now we praise you and thank you for this new day. Thank you for this new year coming, Lord. Thank you for your grace. If God is for us. Who can be against us? He that spared not his only son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not also with him freely give us all things? We love you, we honor you, and we exalt you in Jesus' name. If you agree with me, say amen, amen, and amen. Hey, God is good. Quiet in here right now. <laughs>
Have a great day. Blessings, blessings, blessings. See you in a little bit, 9 and 11.